Hey everyone, welcome back to the Grown's Paradise. My name is uh, Gizmo, and today I'm going to show you um, how the bot is working of Avani. Um, I got a lot of questions about what is it, what does it, and how can I use it. Those three objects, uh, those uh, those three um, subjects, I'm going to discuss. First of all, the bot itself. This is the bot. If you look into it, you have here you have the chat, alliance chat, private chat, wall chat, and the commands chat for the commands channel. We have the goal tab and the script tab, and we have here if you have multiple cities, multiple tabs also. These are your logs from every city. What is happening? It's doing my comfort relief. You can see also. Um, Valleys are optical, but recommended for defense um, means if you have a valley in your possession, then the bot will use it as defense when you get attacked to transport your ballistas and uh, transporters to with all your resources that it can take to keep it safe, of course. Um, that's one of the features, but just let's start because you can see I, I have multiple bots online. These two are mine, and this one is for uh, Asterix in our alliance. Um, well, first of all, I'm going to explain you guys how this works. Now, I'm going to use my uh, main account. Which one is that? Gizmo, yes. That's my main account. And first of all, this is my main town. So I write down main town. Speed text um, is when your uh, loyalty hits down below 6, it uses a speed text. If your speed text is not available anymore, and you don't have them anymore, but you do have a truce agreement, when your loyalty hits 5, it activates a truce agreement. Config warning 1, attack warning 1, that means that you, uh, your button will flash red and you will get a warning that you are getting attacked. Uh, then you have also enemy warning 10. This will um, uh, uh, the, the bot will actually use a voice. It, it will say uh, warning multiple enemy waves incoming or if you just have one wave incoming uh, enemy wave incoming. So you will ask actually for attention and then she will set, say what she uh, needs to say. So um, not only you will have a visual reference, but you also have a sound reference, so that's very useful in the game. Uh, distant policies, uh, not real sure, but I'll give you a link also where you can f search everything of this bot. There is a lot of information because you can everything you can do in the game in Flash, uh, you can do in here in HTML. So everything so from accepting members to giving promotions everything is covered in this bot so you cannot hack with it but it's uh, it's impossible see another video I will post also um, but it is able to do everything uh, you can in Avani itself um, it doesn't give you extra resources it, uh, it, it does help you to trade I'll come in a moment but it doesn't give you extra and um, yeah well let's go on um, just leave this for a moment I'll go there in a second you see here that uh, a tech report just came in I'm on this moment I'm metal hunting so you can see here my uh, heroes are coming back and we're, will be sending away um, this is going totally automatically so I can click here on my uh, uh, scout report of uh, on my report battle report I can see them and this is actually farming for metals so if you want to farm for metals but you don't want to do it yourself you can use this feature it will metal hunt for you it just gave me for five lions and 22 cross in like half a day so that's amazing um, well let's go on back here uh, 
Bal, Bal's use. Um, actually, those two I'm not sure about, so I will not cover them. Config. Config uh, comfort, uh, uh, 1. That means that. Um, oh, you cannot show it here. I right hear. That uh, comfort will leave will be done on your city so this will increase your loyalty hero uh, you will uh, the the basic is uh, of, 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 of hero is one but uh, the, uh, the one actually what it does is it upgrades your heroes but it won't take other actions uh, hero 11 it means um, it will upgrade heroes, it will keep one uh, policy hero and the rest it will become attack heroes. Um, <clears throat> this option also will uh, um, uh, fire the heroes you don't need anymore and hire the better ones. Because they only fire a hero when there is a better one in your inn. So don't be afraid that you lose a good hero and then need to wait until you get another good hero. No. The only uh, your hero is only going to be fired when there are good uh, when there is a better hero available, and he will uh, buy it also. If you don't have enough goal, he won't fire the hero and he won't hire it. So it's just then it's just completely switched off. Uh, gate zero point two. That means that um, it, it means how your gates are, are controlled if they are open or not. If if you get a scout attack, they are, will be closed. Uh, depending also on your gate policy, this works together. Um, this is actually a difficult one. I suggest you to search it also on the internet. <coughs> but gate uh, 0 0.2 will basically sa basically say that 25 seconds before the attack will hit my city, the gate will start responding. And that is actually the only thing the gate option will say. Um, it's saying that 25 seconds before the attack is incoming, it starts responding, and then it's up to the policy how it's responding. Uh, this policy is for uh, if your uh, town is not um, strong enough set, uh, yet, and uh, you need to defend yourself from big opponents, then uh, 1, 3, 2, 1 is the one you want to use. If you are uh, comfort, uh, confident about yourself, um you should you can use like one two two one or one one two one one that's uh, something uh, you need to choose yourself i'll just i'll recommend to search it online because it's a pretty difficult one dumping uh one not really sure about uh always have it on one never had any problems with it trading i set to zero because it uh what it does it it will uh according to these settings it will sell you wood and your iron and uh, buy uh, uh, buy food for from it. So if you not do anything with these settings, I need to add some little more settings. So also for this one, it's a pretty difficult one. Um, so you can like say uh, if I have more than uh, 50 million wood. I want to sell everything, and if I have less than 70, uh, mi I have less of like 10 million uh, food, I want to uh, have to buy, buy me amount of uh, food. So uh, it keeps everything controlled. You need to set it. I didn't set it because I'm doing it myself. Um, you can set it. It's a little bit difficult. You need to search it. I'll provide you guys with the links to search everything up, so don't be worried. Hiding uh, one that is um, uh, as soon as you get attacked, then w hiding one means that one minute before the attack is hitting your city, your ballistas and your transporters will be sent away with uh, with uh, at, uh, as much resources as it can take. It first starts on your food, and uh, when there is space left, it takes something else with it. Um, okay, that was just my cat. Um, debug, uh, not really sure also about, also same thing, same story, uh, set it just like on one and don't do anything with it. NPC uh, 1, it goes together with a lot of options. Uh, just a moment. <sighs> My cat was playing with a pack of secrets. 
but uh, yeah, MPC one. Uh, you can uh, like um, um, train troops uh, by giving an, an, an option uh, for them to attack NPCs constantly. So um, um, you train them. Okay, now, now, uh, no, not now. Okay, and. Um, uh, you can do different thing. You can you can uh, say to the bot you need to um, uh, build cities and then abandon them again. So you can kind of NPC them. You can send your heroes to the uh, cities with mounted uh, troops to train your heroes. Um, you can um, give uh, the bot uh, the option to keep farming the. Um, the 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 NPCs for uh, for the food and the resources. So that's that's uh, nice to look into for later on when you're having uh, at least a few thousand transporters, even also ballistas. Keep reports. Well, yeah, it, it, it's the name. Uh, the name it says itself. It will keep your reports and won't throw them away for you. If you set this uh, on something else, I'm not sure which one, I thought zero or something, it will not keep your reports and it will uh, throw your mail away. So that means about your uh, uh, made attacks. So um, don't know if that's also for bonus, uh, bonus, um, um, yeah, the, the system messages and that kind of stuff. I don't know if that's working. But yeah, well, resources limits already told. Yeah, that these are the limits and the targets that you want to buy in and sell out the resources. Config hunting one means that you're going to hunt uh, level one to level three uh, valleys to uh, get cross line or what was the other one? Cross line or rose metal. Those three you can get on the level one to three uh, valleys. It will constantly keep attacking like you see here. It's constantly attacking. attacking. In the meantime, there are three more attacks done and three more attacks going out. So in the time, in 12 minutes I'm talking right now, there are going. Uh, there are nine attacks. So that's, that's pretty good. Um, and I don't have enough heroes yet. But uh, when, as soon as 10 heroes, then at least six of them will be hero hunting. Um, fast hero 70 it will uh, say that it will keep uh, sell, uh, keep firing heroes and keep hiring heroes until it reach its uh, amount of 70 uh, that means for attack wisdom and everything you set it goes together with uh, the hero option so if you have the hero on 11 it will keep one policy uh, hero at least on level 70 and the rest attack at least on level 70 if you hit 120 in here and you set it so you set the goal every time you need uh, you, you you adjust something you need to set the goal save it and save all uh, then it will search for heroes until it's level 120 well, let's go to 84 for a moment we'll set it. I can see the attacks are done again and now it's searching for a valley, valley to hunt again so yeah that, that it keeps on going uh, then we come here the build that is build option if you want to build something you type in build and then you type in the initial of the building uh, if you click on the B tab you see all the buildings with uh, <coughs> the letter behind it so if, for example, like I have here, I want my build my feasting hall to level nine, and I want my rally spot to be level nine, so I can uh, attack uh, almost at full uh, uh, potential. Then for my um, feasting hall, it's F H, and for my rally spot, uh, spot it's R. So I want my feasting hall to be at level nine, and it's just one building. Same count for the, uh, the, um, the rally spot. I want to have the rally spot. I want to have it on level 9. And it's just one building. So first the level, then the amount of buildings. So for example, if I want to um, build something like a barrack. Uh, let's say I want to build 15. Because I have 15 barracks. I want to build them all to level 9. I can do uh, either this, comma. 
between everywhere you need a comma. Uh, barrack, double point, and I want all of them to level 9, and I have 15 barracks. Then I set the goal, I save it, I save it, and uh, could be that the feasting hall on next is changing. Yep, yeah, that's changing to barrack level 5. The bot sees now that you give him another goal to have. Uh, the barracks are quicker uh, to finish and it's, it's something cheaper. So this building will have um, will be sitting in the front row. As soon as the ready spot is done in 3 minutes and 40 seconds, the barrack will take it over. This is also instantly, when this is done, it just takes 2 seconds until the next building is going to build. So you will not um, forget anything to build anymore if you just like uh, got as, as, uh, distracted for like a few uh, minutes and you forgot to build for like a time and you hate yourself for again failing to build on time so you don't have that problem anymore with this but I'm going to delete this for a moment okay I was having a call for a moment Oh, what I was explaining is um, you can put it here with a comma behind, but you can also make a new line, type in build, and then barrack, double point, level 9, 15 of them, and set your goal. So it's also working. So as long as goal successfully are set, you're done. Um, but I don't want that. I want the feasting hall to go up like that. The troops, same things, same story as um, the feasting hall. You can go here to your uh, the TV troop uh, menu. Uh, you see troop here. I'm pointing here an A double point ten thousand. It means that my archers need to go to ten thousand. You see here, I have five point sixteen k in my city. Uh, One uh, hundred and fifty are in the make. Um, goal is 10k and 4.08k is left. Uh, you see all the shortcuts again and that's how it works. Also same with research. We're going to... Oh, 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 where that was? Uh, here. Research. Same counts for research. Only with research you don't have to put the... Uh, you know the one. So it's just Lumbering, level 9, mining, level 9, uh, and go on, go on. So, this is actually uh, how the bot a little bit works. You can also go to your account, to your inbox, you can send mails, you can go to your items, you can use them also. You can uh, see all the members and the stats. Stats. You can the the, the, the alliance, uh, the friendly, and the members, the events, war well reports. Your uh, the map. This is working a little bit difficult. This is your own city. Orange is your own city, and this is like a castle. Castle level ten. And uh, this is an HC. And these are hills. This is a lake. The blue one. And gray is flats, open flats. So yeah, red is enemy. So then you know that also. If you want to whisper to someone, just click on its name, and then um, it's done. I'm now going to show you guys how you need to install it. This is the map you should get. Um, I will download it with you guys so you guys can see it's no virus or something idiotic. It just comes from my computer, from my server, and it's uh, Vive protected, uh, protected and updated every day. So we go to the uh, 2 massive uh, for you webcom uh, I'm going to change my volume here. And you click on this one. This nice button that I made here. You click on it. It automatically uh, downloads the bot for you. I'm gonna say show in folder. That's the only thing you need to do. Okay, then you have here standing out the avenue. What you can do is you can, uh, yeah, 
crowd somewhere. I got it already here, but I will uh, replace it so you will still know. I'm not talking trash here. You open it. This is the bot, so you can extract it like this. This you can throw away. Now, if you open it, you have here the bot. This is what you drag out and you place somewhere here and you give this bot the name of your account. The installation guide with a quick installation and how to use it written by myself and a few photos about how this should look like and how uh, like the inside of the bot till uh, the photo of the login screen um, how this map should, should be like for if someone wants to map, mess with it this is how it should like this can be different according to your own browser but this is how it should like well what you're gonna do is you're going to drag that bot out or maybe copy it and save this somewhere because this is this is the only copy left that is uh, available for us that's not paid uh, not have to be paid for I uh, was smart to cap it and to back up it and now I'm able to still use it while others can't anymore so this is an advantage for you guys keep good hold of it when because you won't find another again um, well this is actually it first of all you need to go to auto avenue so take a web browser here you go to auto avenue.cc oh auto avenue.cc and yeah I'm already logged in but you need to register for this website and then you need to click the activation link in your email this uh, your email and your password you need to keep good hold of otherwise you cannot use the bot as soon as um, as soon as you're um, having that having that bot oh shit I didn't I'm having it here as soon as I have the bot here I'll uh, call it uh, now I'll just let, let, let you show my own one Closing this one off for a moment. Well, then you have this here. Click, double click on this one according to your browser. You can also give it another browser. I would suggest uh, use Firefox because on Google Chrome it will crash sometimes, and then you're like uh, away from home, thinking that the bot, bot is working, and it crashed and it didn't came back online. So use Firefox, then you won't have that problem. Um, I'm using for Google Chrome on this moment and then we get this login screen just type in your uh, your username this double point one you don't have to it pops in automatically type in your password then you need to type in your email address of Evany uh, of your account your password of Evany account and <coughs> NA and then the server number don't forget the NA because you can also have an SS here and then you are on a super server so make sure you have NA54 if you're on the 5.4 uh, server then you uh, hit uh, auto goal and auto script on and if you have registered yourself on the site correctly and if you have, uh, you've put this uh, everything in correctly when you uh, log in the bot is attempting to log in it's connecting and now it's connecting. First of all, what it does, it, uh, it uh, starts the script in here. So it set my production to 100, set the tax rate to 20. And after that, it will maintain this and make sure all, all of this is covered. Um, if you want to have more options to do and if you want to more find out what you can do you can also type in list command list commands I thought and if you type yep and then you get a whole list of commands I recommend to copy it and then paste it in some uh, in notepad or some because this is moving constantly and you're getting crazy 
So copy this and just read them on your uh, um, yeah when you have time and you will learn by the day. Before I'm going to uh, quit this video, I want to show you something real nice because I just have captured a flat and I want to build a city on it. So I'll let you guys show how you need to do that with uh, within the pro uh, program. So we go to new line and we say build city. That's the command to build the city. And we give the course of 16 comma 133. If I now hit run, it's going to start to build this city and it will be done. Oh, uh, very important if you are going to build this city, then make sure if you're using the bot to do it within the bot. Because um, if you don't, you have probably have the chance that the bot doesn't update itself and the tab won't show up. So you have built the city, but you're not able to control it with your bot. So make sure you do it with your bot. It's very simple. Just build city and then the courts. Hit run. It's saying this. Uh, it said production. Yeah, that's the first two lines. Then it says schedule to build a city. At flat, blah, blah, blah. Building city. Script. Finish. Now, if you go to your army, you can see here, build city, flat, flat, the courts, takes three and a half minutes, and then my city is built. So you can take this away, it's not needed anymore. And that's it, that's how you do it. So, for more information, uh, visit one of uh, these websites. You can just go to Google um, and type in uh, something uh, like uh, Auto Avenue. Auto Avenue, and then this the thing you want to have like uh, metal metal hunting or something, or it. But you can also um, Auto Avenue Wiki, and then you're going to uh, yeah here or anywhere, and this is actually the site you need to have Auto Avenue free wiki in index main page. So that's what you need to have. Um, you can here have like troop training samples, new city samples, uh, NPC hero 10, uh, NPC 10 list, audio attack warning, no major, keep reports, attack gap, no capture, abandon, war town, uh, keep troop, extra troops, um, go on and go on. This is this list is very big and this is this is not everything there is a lot more to do with this I'm just getting sick and tired of that I'm um, there's a lot more to do with this bot than you can ever imagine so um, for those that don't use it already maybe think about it it's it's easy it's safe I showed you guys now and you will not get kicked or banned for it Evany won't see it the bot will disconnect like one minute before uh, server server maintenance is getting on and then it will just reconnect 15 to 30 minutes later on back to the server itself so that's all done by the program all covered and everyone won't find it out and there is like a, a debug yeah, that's that's what a debug is I thought yeah it could be yeah that it gives you a certain amount of time before it's going to activate a new building. So it, for Avni, it doesn't look like it, it's a computer doing it. It looks like you doing it. If it if if it was too obvious, <coughs> then um, they would pick you out immediately. But this bot is pretty secure. And well, let's say I'll play over six and a half years. Um, I have never ever encountered any problems with this bot and having a kick or ban um, and I'm playing with this bot for four years so that's a pretty good long time uh, someone read me out once to the uh, admins um, he started attack me like hell because he couldn't he couldn't get any resources because everything was set up quite well here and uh, he was angry about it and asked the admin to ban me. The response of the admin was to port me to some another state, give me seven days of uh, uh, again beginners protection, 
uh, for us didn't do nothing. So yeah, that's what Evony does to help their uh, members. So don't be scared using the program. And um, I will say just happy using it. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know on my channel. I'll try to cover it with a video. But for now, I'm just saying uh, good luck to you all. Have fun with this bot. And we'll see you all on the battlefield. Oh, shit. Don't forget to rate and subscribe, man. Awesome.